Now it's almost the most wonderful time of the year, which means, of course, Catherine Layden is in the kitchen and she's making Christmas mince pies. Good morning, Christmas Catherine. Christmas mince pies. Good morning, Tommy. No. Oh, I am so excited for these. Good. Now, can I start by saying, I mentioned earlier there, I'm not making a basic pastry. I'm doing something across between a shortbread and a pastry, OK? And what I mean by Why that is, is that much, it's a much richer pastry and there's ground almonds in it. OK. OK. okay. So, to make it, we put 225 grams, that's eight ounces, of our cream plain flour into the bowl. To that, we're going to add 125 grams, that's four ounces of butter or margarine. Now, just a tip for making pastry, or indeed even for creaming butter and marge. If you cut the butter or the marge into little cubes, right. it will blend a lot better and quicker with your ingredients. And so it's important the... to use your hands in this then I as well, is it? I am going to put my hands in now, yeah. So it makes it easier then, it's all kind of Much easier. Spread out, and you get it done a lot quicker, yeah. Now, unlike regular pastry, Tommy, where you have everything as cold as possible, the marge is best, or the butter is best, if it's slightly... It's hard um, to keep up with it, isn't it? Tis. What's cold and what's oh. warm and all this sort of stuff. Yep. But mince pies, this is something I'd love to make. So, mince now, pies, so keep it at room it, temperature. Rub in your butter, right? Lift the mixture as you do. Now, just a tip, if you want to make this pastry in a hurry, you could use a food processor, put all the ingredients into the mixing bowl ah, and give it a quick, now we're talking. a quick buzz, OK? OK. Now, to that, we're adding 125 grams, that's four ounces of our light caster sugar. Mm -hmm. brown ca light brown caster sugar. 125 grams, or a 100 gram pack, really, of the ground almonds. So we just mix them together, and we're going to bind them now with one beaten egg. Why almonds? Sorry, Catherine. Ground almonds give a nice flavour to the pastry, and they also make them quite um, softish, like shortbread. Do oh, you like shortbread? Yeah. Oh, I love shortbread. Yeah, yeah. so do I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I find uh, the basic short crust pastry. Um, it's just it kinda, like it bland or something, yeah, is it? It does. Yeah, it's very bland. Okay. Now. To that, we're going to add one beaten egg, which we have here, and a little bit of water to start. Now, you may need a little more, but we'll just get that in first. Now, I start by just bringing the ingredients together with a knife, mm -hmm. and then I just put my hands in to bring the mixture together, because there is quite a bit of oil in the ground almonds. Oh, so it's very yeah. important okay. that you don't add too much liquid at this stage. But just another little tip of water, about a teaspoonful more. And this will bring the ingredients. And of course, just you can do this in the food processor if like, yes. you just want to save a bit of time, right? All into the food processor. And you just very toss in your egg and then very gradually add your water. OK. OK. So now, there we have our pastry. We just right, bring it together. That. Simple as that. There you go. Now, you see there's some loose paste, some loose ingredients there. By using your hands, the heat of your hands will get the um, oil from the ground almonds and bring the mixture together for you. Yeah. And then you put that into cling film and into the fridge until you're ready to use it. OK. Now, I have one already prepared here. Well, could you do this, say, uh, a week in advance? Absolutely. Could... Oh, right, OK. In right. fact, what I've done here is I have my... This is a smaller version of the mince pies. Yeah. I've rolled them out, small cutters, put in my mince meat and now top with star cutters. Yeah. And if you wish, you could put this tin covered in plastic or um, cling film cling into film the freezer, from. freeze them. When they're frozen, then toss them into a bag and take them out as you need them and cook them from frozen. All right. So you can do them at this stage even for Christmas. There you now. go. So you could just pull out them into six, the freezer. for instance. Correct. Kind of, or if you have guests coming Absolutely. over, you can probably take them out of the freezer. Yeah. And then put them into a hot oven for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes is wow. all it takes. Oh, OK. That's okay. a good tip, isn't it? Now, just one other tip before we finish. I hate when people turn up at the house, yeah, and you don't have anything yeah. there for them. Into the freezer. Catherine the Layden's mince pies in the freezer. In the freezer. Now, Job done. If you haven't got your mince meat made at this stage, you can buy the commercial mince meat. But can I suggest if you're using the commercial, buy a good quality and grate in some apple, an eating apple, into oh. it, and that saves the mince meat boiling over. You know, the right. mince is trying to boil over. Yeah. It won't, that's caused by the suet in the mince meat. That won't happen if you. Add some grated apple. Well, and sorry, do you, is that the skin of the apple as well now, or just, no, just the, the apple? Just, so okay, so peel the apple and then grate and it grate in. Grate it in, yeah. Now there we have our there you go. mince pies. Oh, look at those ones coming out too, bubbling away. Very hot. So if if you didn't have apple in those now, they, have they'd be the overflowing. Custard? You don't Where have the it? custard. Has Nicole got the custard? She's eating oh, it first. Oh no! Oh well, we're all right. We're, I'm happy to eat the, the the mince pie on its own. <laughs> 
Cole forgot them. No, I think she's on her way. She's getting oh. it heated up for us. She's heating it up that. for you, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, let me try one without the custard okay. anyway for the minute. Um, so, so, so when you've made them now, when they're baked, by the yeah. way, leave them in the tin for a few minutes to set and then transfer them to a wire tray to go cold. Right. Okay? And then when they're cold, keep them in an airtight container. And you can then heat them in a hot oven for about three or four minutes just to serve them. But I think they taste better, to be honest, if you freeze them raw and then bake them in the hot oven. Right, and then give them a good 10 minutes, a good blast. Good blast. But 200, so people might want the temperature. 200 centigrade, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark six. And so these ones, though, they just they went were in, in about 15 for... Mi no, 15 minutes. These were only in for 15 minutes, these ones here. OK. Oh, good Tommy's coffee. missing out on his custard. Mm. Tell me now, did you, make, did you make that, the, the, the filling, the mince? The mince meat I did, yeah. But you so must make a mince meat. It's best if you make it about three to four weeks before you oh, need right. it. Oh, right, or you've missed because the you thing mature, that. Yeah, you're better off. You could do it now, but it's quite troublesome. And what's, what's in there? There's mixture of meat, or mixture, there was meat originally, as Stephen told me, in Tudor times, but now it's replaced by sweet, but there was beef mince in it. Now we have a collection of mixed fruit, suet, and um, a lot of spices. Right, OK. OK. And why would you need to make that three weeks in advance or so? To get the flavours blended through. Mm, OK. And then maybe a week before you could, you know, but every week just tipping a little bit of brandy into it to improve the flavour. Mm. So Brilliant. delicious mince pies. Well, listen. We'll get you the custard I now in a minute. I don't have the custard, but oh, you know I'm what? I'm sorry about that. The, uh, the mince meat is absolutely delicious. I love it. Good. Really good. Catherine good. And uh, the, the pastry is really good. Isn't it good? Mm. Yeah. 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 Almonds. Not Never a bland would have thought pastry. that was him. Catherine Aiden, thank you very much. Christmas My pleasure. mince pies. Love it. Now, Mern, what have we got coming up? That was like that. Oh, no. It's classy, the way, <laughs> the way you do it. It's that all good. That was a mouthful. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> you can't do the cookery segment and not no, have a you mouthful, can't. you see. Right. But I always think that you're crazy busy because you do too much and then I just sit at home doing nothing. It's great. I know, I've been shown up. If I thought the time you bow was busy, no, 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 we're going to be talking to Terry McAvoy, <laughs> whose life, may, you make my head spin just a little bit. Not just on her life as a brand new mum, that's one thing, building a brand new business, being a nurse, doing college. There's lots to talk about, yeah? yes? Yes. And do you like mince pies? I love mince pies. She loves mince pies. <laughs> Catherine, you're in love with her. Stay with us. We'll be talking to Terry McAvoy very shortly.